Hey, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives, one workout at a time. Quick thought about God in this video that I'm calling Life Lessons from an Hourglass. Okay, get that image in your mind, an hourglass, you know, uh, like that old soap opera, like, like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Okay, I never watched that, but you get the picture, an hourglass, the grains of sand just pouring through from the top to the bottom, representing a period of time, whether it's an egg timer or it's one of those big ones that represent a larger amount of time. That's the way it used to do it back in the day, right? So, um, so I was listening to Pastor Craig Rochelle preach a sermon here recently, and he, and he talked about that uh, regarding the brevity of life. There was, there was three thoughts he shared about just that visual and hourglass, and I put my own spin on them and attached some words to him, to them. Um, first of all, uh, it's it's just it's stunning um, what those grains of sand at the top uh, could represent. Uh, there they could represent seconds or minutes or, or hours of our lifetimes, our lifespans, right? But the you know the the thought is is they're limited. They're not unlimited. They're not infinite. They're there's only so many there. Uh, and that's just a, a stunning thought. And and then the staggering thing, part of that is how fast they're pouring from the top to the bottom, right? It's just like, oh my gosh. I mean, if, that, if ever there was a visual illustration about the brevity of life, you know, an hourglass is a good one. I mean, there it is. It's just while you're talking, they just continue, to, those grains of sand continue to drop from the top to the bottom. And, you know, the staggering reality is, is once all the top is empty and they're at the bottom, you're done. The, the time is expired. It's elapsed. Game over, right? And so, um, I mean, what do you do with that? Uh, and so, you know, we need to make the most of every opportunity. John Maxwell said, you know, um, the opportunity of a lifetime must be seized within the lifetime of the opportunity. So he, he was so right. You know, today, um, I'm having lunch with my father. He'll be 88 on his, his next birthday. And we're going to celebrate his birthday. Do you know in the United States where I live, the average life expectancy uh, currently, you know, is 78.8 years. My dad is 10 years older than that. He's on extended play. He's on borrowed time. Any day, you know, could be his last day. Statistically, if, if I were an actuarian, you know, it's like he's defying the odds. He's living a blessed life and God has, has allowed him to live live longer. And so think about that. You know, the, 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 the staggering, stunning, startling concept and reality and truth of fleeting moments in our lives you know we get 24 hours in this cycle 168 hours this week you know you mathematicians watching this could extrapolate that out and do the math of how many you know <laughs> how much time we have left you know if you have kids and they're you know 10 years old theoretically theoretically you might have eight summers left with them before they they may leave you they may leave the less now some won't may not but hey at 18 they can and many often do. So I wonder if we can today just think about for a moment, um, do the math. How old are you? You know, uh, I'm, I'm 61. If things were average and you take 78 minus 61, could it be that's statistically how many years I have left? Okay. And, you know, so it may help us to reframe some things, to reshift some priorities in our life um, when we think about the grains of sand falling through and this brevity of time thing. The Bible talks a lot about life is a vapor. You know, the, the grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of the Lord endures forever. So let's think about eternity. Let's start that today. You know, eternity begins not when, when we die as a Christian, but when we're born again. That's the day eternity begins for us. So, all right. Well, wow, lots to think about. And I do hope you do 
In fact, think about that today. So make the most of today. Seize the opportunity. Carpe diem, right? All right. I hope that encourages you a little bit. For now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you. I'm never against you. Take care. God bless.